Whenever I open up TikTok or Instagram, I always see like a Lizzo post, right? I'm trying to be thin. I don't ever want to be thin. And we all go on like YouTube and I'll see something like, oh, when we try the same diets as white women, we don't gain, when we gain more weight and research shows. That when people talk about black women being obese, I hate it. We are living in the Trump era. White people are racist. <laughs> Black women, when we do the same diets as white women, we lose less weight and we lose it slower. That? No. That's a whole bunch of bull crap. I'm black, I got some family, and we love soul food, we love cooking. You know, going back to slavery, food was a way of expression, it was a way of love, it's in our culture. That's why we do seafood boils, we do smoked turkey neck, you know what I'm saying? Auntie Mays, mac and cheese. Auntie Faye, she got the best cornbread on the block. Like, like stuff like that, you know, that's black culture. But it's really high in calories, right? When Auntie Faye, when she put that honey on that cornbread, that's all sugar. So one is not even healthy. Besides that, you're adding calorie after calorie after calorie, you know? That's why I drink water. I don't like to drink my calories, personally. Seasonings don't do much, but... All the oil and butters we use when we cook it adds up. And we believe in, you know, we're big boned. We're not fat, we're big boned. Uh, that, that was just a dream. And I'm not fat, I'm big boned. You know, we're just strong. I mean, that's, I mean, if you think about it, yeah, we're strong. Going back to slavery, the best slaves survive. The ones that don't make the cut get the. So, yeah, that's one reason why in sports, I can say that black people usually excel better in sports. It comes down to biology and selection. I'm not even gonna say nature selection, but that's a whole different video. But in the black community, it's often said that we're big boned. You're not fat, you're not obese, you're not overweight, you're big boned, you know? And you can't lose weight, so you're okay, just be yourself. Have you seen some of the kids we have, how big the kids are? It's been a week since I talked to Dr. Now. And like, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> so food is the, food is the like our kryptonite. We love it. It brings us together, but it's also putting us down, right? That's one. I always end up seeing like Lizzo and she doesn't even understand. No, she does understand. Her record label knows they have a huge influence on kids and young adults, especially young black kids. Feeling, I'm gonna be all right. oh. She's black, she's popular, she spreads body positivity, and she's a singer. You've made it in society, and to the black community, you made it, and we're gonna look up to you because you're one out of a million of us that made it. She's, she's subconsciously spreading this secretive binge eating disorder where, oh, I'm, and I only eat 2,000 calories and I can't lose weight. And then all your supporters think, yes, queen, it's, your, it's because you're black, you know, you just can't lose weight, it's so hard, you know? It's just because you're black, queen, bless, bless, bless. When she goes to Ruth Chris, when she goes to Chick-fil-A, you don't see that on camera, when she door dashes and stuff, you ain't seeing that, so and often they're miscounting their calories. She is such a big influence on black kids, you know? And the fact that you have all this publicity, you're constantly trending, and you're trying to tell people, and you're showing people that you can't lose weight. Lizzo has such a massive brand, and she knows exactly what she's doing. I don't hate you for being obese, but you're glorifying obesity to a young, young audience. These are children who look up to you. These are black kids in poverty that are going to school, that are going to church and are singing and just praying and hoping and wishing they could be in a position like you when they get older. And you can't even be a healthy role model? You have allegations that we ain't even gonna talk about. We ain't just gonna leave that alone. But you got allegations, right? And now that you're glorifying obesity, um, holistic conscious, because when you say health conscious, it comes very loaded. But I'm very holistically conscious. Like I am very hippy dippy and woo woo when it comes to food and and supplements and just thinking about my body and like the environment.
I'm trying to be thin. I don't ever want to be thin. I've been saying this is the best too. Mm. At least spread a positive message to the youth that look up to you. I'm trying to be thin. I don't ever want to be thin. In the black community, you're one out of a million. You've made it. You're a singer, you're rich, you're doing shows, you're doing tours, you have a massive brand. That's only what people on Section 8 and food stamps could wish for. That's all they want. The kids who are watching you on YouTube just praying and hoping that they could re reach your level of stardom, fame, anything. Be a good role model for them. If you're gonna do it for anybody, do it for them. And that's one thing that really affects me sometimes when I just think about this whole negative image, you know? It's not, you're just taking advantage of them. You know this, your record label knows this. A few woke people know, but if they're too woke, then they're a problem and you don't know what you're talking about, you know? So I don't wanna to speak too much on that anymore, but you know what you're doing to your audience and it's sick, honestly. Spread a positive image for your audience.